I'm here at Crumbs and Doilies in Soho and I've been inspired by my unicorn cupcakes that I did a couple of weeks ago and if you haven't seen that video then click on the link. Um, and I thought I'd make another decoration which would be perfect to go on those cupcakes and I've been inspired by Catherine Sabbath who you may know from Instagram. She's an amazing cake baker and she has a really good Instagram feed so go and check that out. And she makes these brilliant chocolate shard bark things and I'm going to show you my way of making a magical chocolate bark so here goes. Now you can do this with pre-coloured candy melts if you want and that's absolutely fine. I don't have any of those. I've always got plenty of white chocolate though so I'm going to be using just straight white chocolate but I am going to colour it using oil-based food colouring. Um, it's really important to use the right food colouring with white chocolate. If you use colour paste you're going to get a really grainy um, uneven colour and um, this is perfect for that because it's oil based so it mixes in really really well but to start with I'm going to do some white and I'm going to pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds and see how I go after that So my first round of chocolate, I've got about 200 grams. Um, there's going to be 400 grams in total, and I've got this size tin, which is about 10 and a half by six and a half. Um, but obviously, if you're using a slightly bigger tin, use a bit more chocolate. Um, now, after its first blast of 30 seconds, it's important to give it a stir, even if it doesn't look like it's started to melt. That way, it'll melt really evenly. Now to melt it completely you want to do it in very short bursts, so I'm going to do it for 15 seconds at a time, stirring in between. Okay, so it's pretty much there. If you've still got a few tiny nuggets of chocolate, don't worry, just keep stirring until it all melts in and then you'll have a nice fluid liquid white chocolate that isn't too hot. So that's my white base colour. I'm also going to do pink and green, but I'm going to do those in smaller amounts. So I've got 100 grams of white chocolate in this jug and 100 grams in that jug, and I'm going to just melt them separately. Right, so that's all three of my jugs of white chocolate melted. So now I'm going to colour the two smaller ones. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using oil-based candy colour. Um, this brand is Americolor, it's really good and they do really bright, bright colours, so you'll get loads of variety. I'm going to just do pink and green, but they're very, very, very strong. So what I do is do two drops at a time, mix it and see where I'm at. Now it's already looking a really pretty shade of blush pink, but I want it something a little bit stronger, so I'm just going to pop another couple of drops in. So that's exactly as I want it, so I'm going to move on to green now and do the same thing. Right, so that's my two colours prepared and ready, so now I'm going to start making things exciting. So I'm going to start with my white chocolate, I'm just going to pour that into the tray. I don't need to prepare it, it's a non-stick tray and it will come out really easy once it's set. This is the base of my bark, so I'm just going to level that off by giving a little wiggle and banging it on the surface of my table. So with the base of my tray covered, I'm then going to move on to the coloured stuff and I'm just going to pour blobs of it randomly all over the top. Right, I think you'll agree it already looks pretty cool, but it's not quite there yet. I'm going to use the end of a paintbrush to marble it, so I'm just going to dip it in and wiggle it all over the place. So you don't want to marble it too much because obviously it will then just all mix together and go a kind of murky colour. But once you're satisfied with the amount of marbling, it'll be a little bit uneven from where the paintbrush has pushed it all about. So just whack it on the top of your table just to level it off again. Now we could stop there, it looks pretty cool as it is, 
but I think you'll agree it could probably get better. Now the secret to really cool magical bark is the toppings. So I have loads of different ones. The more the merrier. I've got different sizes, different colours. So I'm just going to start by sprinkling a few of those on. So in the style of Catherine Sabbath, I'm doing kind of random bursts of sprinkles rather than making it even all the way over the top. I think it does look a lot more interesting. And that looks amazing. So now I just need to pop that in the fridge for about five or ten minutes just to set. Right, it's had about ten minutes in the fridge and it's completely set so now I'm going to break it out of this tin. So I just bent my tin a little bit just to kind of break it apart from the um, white chocolate and it probably won't always come out in one nice neat slab but that's okay because we're going to chop it up anyway. But it might need a little bit of help with a knife. And that is a big old pile of delicious, magical chocolate bark. You can eat this, you can break it up and give it to your friends, or you can stick it on a cake or into a cupcake to make it super, super colourful and magical. So there it is, my delicious, magical chocolate bark, which is making this cupcake look even more special, and it's going to make your cupcakes look brilliant. And I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. And don't forget you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the end. That way you'll get a nice little alert every time I do a video. I'll be back next week with another recipe video for you guys. So until then, see you soon.